Are we, have we made it to the city? Yeah, it takes about 45 minutes to get there. Um, and as you do, the, the gate is down. And the guard just like, halt. What business do you have at the end? Apparently the king's looking for us. We have a summons. He looks at you. My name is, uh, Winona Silverman. I am the Lady of Lithus. Soon to be Princess of Tormia. So he looks at you, looks at the poster, looks at you, looks at the poster, recognizes you. Oh, there's a little thing open now? Like, he sees you, like, he recognizes you from literally, like, the day before. Yeah. He inspects the cart, determines that there is no dangerous weapons on the cart other than, like, your normal everyday weapons. So, he's like, and please, you guys are, how could you explain yourself and the things you saw? Present yourself to the guards at the castle gates. Mm-hmm. They will see you situated. And you go up to the castle gates. The guards so you recognize you immediately. Recognize you from the poster. Let's see. Maren, the stops. Maren holding your hand does the same, following your example. But you yeah. remember what, what? Man, you want to get my shoulders? taught you mm-hmm. about royalty. Mm-hmm. These people are royalty. Mm-hmm. Be nice. Maren, do you want to get on my shoulders? No, I need to walk. That would have been the well, safest place. I'll be better. a big girl today. You don't have to be a big girl. Mm-hmm. Mr. Teddy says I gotta be brave. <laughs> Percy hates the fucking bear. So. <laughs> no, I, I'm, this isn't because of the bear. I'm fine with the bear. I'm perfectly fine with the bear. The bear doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> I still think the bear is a deity. <laughs> the guards look at you. Well. You made this job very easy for us. We will tell the king you are here and that you have decided to turn yourselves in. Why are we turn? We're not. Why are we turn? We're here to talk. We didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, we're just here to tell the king what he wants to hear. That is for the king to decide. And as you make your way into the room, the king leans forward and he crosses his fingers over his chin. Just the people I've been searching for. Hello, Your your Highness. My name is Winona Silverman. I am the Lady of Lithus, soon to be Princess of Tormia. I've been told that you wanted to speak with us. Tell me, Lady Winona. How is it that you neglected to call government officials as a refugee? So, when we assisted in the battle for Dalewind, we escaped, and as soon as we got to Marengia, I made it my personal efforts to speak with government officials here in Marengia. And because we had just fought for our lives, not to mention trying to protect this little one here, I may have been a bit on the hysterical side, but they wanted no part in hearing what I had to say. And instead, I was put in pillories. And at the same time, I told the guild everything that they said they were passing along. I told the guild everything before we found out he, she was locked in pillories. Happy. We've had several reports from the guild for those who survived the attack on a car. However, no report has made it to me those who were at the church. You were here yesterday. Yes, your honors. I was. Who think you are responsible for bringing these? Hmm? 
Uh, if I may, he told us what was going on, and we chose to come to you yeah. and to clear the Indeed. air about what had happened. That is true, Your Highness. Yeah, they came on their own. Tell me, word for word, exactly what you saw in a car. My compatriots here are the ones that witnessed it, so I will let them speak. Me and Zazek were new to a car. Well, not new, but. We were there, and we saw, what was it called? Earth? There were members of the church. Yeah, the religion is Earth. The, with robes, with eyes all over it, and they were handing to. out pamphlets about their religion and their church, and trying to get followers. So, both of us happened to, to go, to go to, to the church. We were standing in the back, kind of not wanting to be fully a part of it, but wanting to see what was going on. There were members in the pews, some with the robe, some without. Mm -hmm. And their father giving the sermon at, in the front. And I cannot quite remember exactly what he was saying. Um, he was saying death, like death must spread but or something it, like it, that. It was not a good thing. Yep. That's for sure. And then the staff that he had been holding, he banged it into the ground a few times. And every time that he did, there was a swell of dark energy that came out from it. Mm -hmm. There was a mass panic. As people realize that something bad was happening. Well, he told his they, people to leave. He said, let my people be free, but and also they ran the, out. Yes, and the regular people who were there began to panic. Yeah, yeah, cool. So yeah. the followers yeah. ran out of the church and immediately dropped dead. Yep. And All then right, rose again as undead. Started killing people. People began raising as more dead. Mm -hmm. The we, grass started to die. And trees started withering. Everything started withering in a circle outward from the town. The undead that were buried in got it up. started coming out from the ground. Anything that could be risen from the dead was. Whether it was an animal or a human or a monster. And it just kept spreading and spreading and spreading. It's like it was breathing almost. It was kind of creeping little by little, consuming more and more. Mm -hmm. And we ran. And we ran. And this man, this priest, you speak of, what did he look like? I <laughs> do not know because he wore a mask with a giant eye in the middle of it. That was all he had. And it was a black robe with eyes on it too? Something like that. I don't remember. But the, the mask was quite recognizable. Yep, the name was Zawa. You see a scribe in the corner, like, writing. Marin's standing very, very quietly, eyes trained on Crow's tail. <laughs> Good. Just staring at the tail. If I may, Majesty, I believe you remember my other companions uh, mentioning a dragon being a curse of pigeon. I do. His message of offering eternal life. I don't mean to sow deceit into your court, but if what you say is true about the guild not giving you word about their words. There are reports of this church of Earth that have begun to go in. It seems smaller are beginning to pop up so in Western they're, countries. They're treating the Sauron as a martyr? Is he dead? The oh. priest that had taken up residence in a car is dead. An adventuring party by the name of Fallen Guard has killed him. However, it is believed that he is not the leader of this church of Earth. Yeah, he is perhaps a high priest for some new god. But there are smaller sects of this church popping up. And survivors are now coming forward with hearing of small groups of these people having been in their town prior to the attack. Not just in a car, but throughout the entire continent. 
we have no knowledge of Ferg himself. His name resides in no history book until now. Any other information you can give? A question, Your Highness. These pop-up churches, are they just occurring in Laurentia? Throughout the entire continent. We have a quest from the Prince of Tormia to go to Casteldia to rescue his siblings, other princesses. We could make it a secondary mission to look into some of these pop-up churches while we are there. If the name comes across your ears in your travels, I would expect you to report that. You first barely made it into Albergia before it was stopped. Therefore, as the rest of the continent, the Castelbians have not been very helpful. They walled themselves off and only allowed entry of humans into their empire as refugees made their way west. I have been tasked with spearheading the investigation. My country took in the most refugees, and several other members of royal families fled this way as well. Anything you learn, report directly to my people. Any further neglect to share vital information about this matter will be considered treason to the continent of the shore. Can I make one request? I'll hear it. Can you just send word to the Duke and Duchess of Lithus and let them know of our secondary mission in Castelbia and to possibly update Prince Clark of uh, Tor Tormia? I will send word with the bird. Thank you, Your Highness. 